everyone, my name is Ryan Perry. I'm a principal product manager here at Grafana Labs, specifically for the Pyroscope team. I'm at the uh, Ask the Experts booth here at GrafanaCon. And uh, yeah, we have a question today that I'm gonna uh, answer for you guys. Uh, this question comes from Ilya Mandrakov. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, it says, I've provisioned Pyroscope OSS. Every se everything seems fine. Is there a way to install Pyroscope UI to get more enhanced views or is that UI part of Pyroscope Cloud? And so I'm going to answer that question today. Um, so yeah, we have multiple different ways where you can uh, view your Pyroscope data. Uh, this is one of the big benefits of us joining the Grafana team. And the first one that is available, totally open source, is the Explore tab. And so that's this one. Um, you just go to the go to Explore here and you can find your services. Uh, you can select the various different profile types. And so that that's what you can find in the Explore tab. At the same time, we do have a separate UI that is available in Pyroscope Cloud. It offers a little bit additional functionality, the ability to um, kind of compare and contrast different, uh, different profile types. Uh, in this case, I can select these different labels and I can see how they compare to each other, or I can even do a diff between uh, maybe one label and another label. Um, in this case, I can compare the AP South label to the EU North label, and I can get this diff flame graph that tells me what the difference is. And so while this UI is only available in Pyroscope Cloud right now, um, this UI is also available uh, in your local instance. If you go to Locals 4040, um, you'll see something very similar to this that um, does all the diff functionality and everything. It's just not specifically in your Grafana instance yet. Um, but as we announced here at GrafanaCon with the Explore Logs app and the Explore Metrics app, um, eventually this um, you know, Explore Profiles app will be available in both open source and the cloud as well. Uh, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for taking the time to listen.